To sacrifice of yourself for the betterment of others is one of the greatest ideals that we have as a Muslim. And this is an internal struggle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set for us in our way of thinking about other people in our life. See, being self-centered or putting yourself at the center of your life is actually a praiseworthy thing. And it's a really important ideal for you and I to learn what are the things we love so that we can share those things with other people. And that's a secret of the Prophet Sallallahu hadith, which is an authentically reported hadith in Bukhari, where he says, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحبه لنفسه. You cannot complete your faithfulness in God until you love for others what you first have loved for yourself. And that becomes a really important thought. What are the things that I love? What are the things that I hold true? What are the things that are important to me are really important ways of me being able to assist others and provide others comforts that I have learned are important for me. In fact, Al-Imam Al-Nawawi in explaining this hadith in Sahih Muslim, he says that this thing that we love for others, it is that we love even for the unbeliever that we're willing to sacrifice of our time and energy for the unbeliever to have the things that we love in terms of our faithfulness in Allah, that we want them to know what is good, that we want them to experience righteousness. We have in Islam uh, this beautiful, beautiful concept of giving al-udhiya. So in the day of Eid al-Adha, which gets its name from udhiya of sacrifice, we sacrifice an animal so that other people will be able to have meat and have a good amount of food and sustenance. And in fact, for all of our households as Muslims who have been blessed, we give and share food with other people, hoping that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase us in our prosperity and forgive us our sins. And that's one of the aspects of the hajj as well. We make the udhiyah and the sacrifice. But I want you to think about that word, dhaha and udhiyah that we are giving from ourselves to other people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In the day of Hajj or whether you're making the sacrifice, Allah is not going to benefit from the blood or from the meat. But it shows that you have a piety of heart and sincerity in your care for other people. What does it mean to care for other people? What does it mean to sacrifice yourself? What it means to sacrifice from your time and your energy and your knowledge and your your ability and your even even from your wealth and even from your own existence the prophet sallallahu allah encourages us through him uh, to recite these verses in surah al-an'am qul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin say to them o muhammad that my life and my um uh, rights of, of sacrifice and my sacrifice that I make. وَمَحْيَايَ mamati, My very uh, totality of life and my prayers and my end of life. All of it is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That to Allah I pray and for Allah I, I sacrifice and I give to others from my wealth that I have enjoyed and my, uh, my whole existence and my death. All of it is towards that very purpose of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sacrifice of myself may at times be different than what it is for other people. Some of the things that I cherish the most, for example, might be my time or my free time. And therefore to give from my time for somebody else is a greater sacrifice maybe for me than to give from my wealth. For somebody else, they might not have a lot of wealth and to give from the charitableness in it is a greater sacrifice than to give from the freedom of their time. And therefore I want you to look into your life. What have you done with your life for the betterment of others? What have you given from from your spheres of influence, from your power, from your knowledge, from your, uh, you know, your time. What good do you possess in your life that you can share with other people, knowing that that is the quickest way to attaining righteousness? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells us in the Quran in Surah Ali Imran. لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ You will never attain that level of righteousness where you are closer and ever closer to Allah until you can separate and give freely from the things you adhere to and love the most. The things that are most dear to you and I in my life become things that we must be willing also to share and to partake and to part with when it is necessary for the betterment of others. And therefore you see the Prophet ﷺ was selfless. He was a person who gave from his time, from his honor, from his knowledge, from his effort, 
from his wealth. He gave so much of everything in his life that there was this one moment where as he was walking down the street, a man came to him and he said, O oh, Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I love this garment that you're wearing. I want to have it. And the Prophet Sallallahu at that time, it was a time of poverty in Medina. He had no other fully, you know, clothed garment, no other qameez. He had other things to wear, but nothing that was elegant like this. So he went into the house of a person and he borrowed clothing from them and he gave it to this man. And when the Sahaba saw this, they got upset with him. And they said, how dare you ask the Prophet ﷺ for the one qameez, for that one, you know, nice shirt that he has. It's the one thing, you took the clothing off his back. And this man, he said, it does not harm me in the fact that I know that I want to be buried and enshrouded in it. I want to have something that I can possess nearness to the Prophet ﷺ in this life and also when I'm entombed in my grave. SubhanAllah, it shows you how much they love the Prophet ﷺ, but it shows you even more how much he was willing to give from himself. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu, companion of the Prophet ﷺ, he said, لم أسمع النبي صلى يقول لا قط إلا في لا إله إلا الله. Never did I ever hear the Prophet ﷺ say لا meaning no except when he said لا إله إلا الله. There is no god except Allah سبحانه وتعالى. That's how willing and giving he was. That's how able he was to leverage himself and to sacrifice of his time, of his energy, of his giving in in pursuit of faithfulness of his energy and his ability to help others sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Sacrificing of yourself is one of the great ideals that we have as Muslims. And therefore we look at the concept of the martyr, the one who has given his life up for defense of his land, for defense of his people, for defense of his family, for defense of his wealth, for defense of his honor, for defense of, you know, the weak and the needy. You know, that's how, that's why we see those type of uh, vocations where a person is assisting others and it results in them at times maybe losing their own life or losing some of their wealth but it was pursuant to fulfilling the needs of others that this can arrive to them at the station of a martyr. The Prophet wasallam says that a shaheed is not just somebody who died in battle but from the shaheed man mata duna mali is the one who died defending his wealth or his land wa ahlihi وَبَيْتِهِ وَأَرْضِهِ His land, his wealth, his family, his people, his tradition, his faith. All of those are things that are important ideals that you and I hold. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be able to sacrifice from the things that we love so that the betterment of others are provided for their needs and we may, may be deprived of something that we have as a want. May our wants in our heart come secondary to the needs of other people. May Allah give us a charitable experience so that on the day of judgment we can proudly say inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillah that my prayers and my sacrifices my life and my death were all for Allah Rabbil Alameen subhanahu wa ta'ala wa salli allahumma wa sallim wa zid wa barik ala sayyidina wa habibina wa nabiyina muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam your brother Yahya Ibrahim wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh